Uh, first, I want to uh, express a concern uh, that, that the administration has not risen up to the statutory obligations of the Quadrennial Defense Review. Uh, and I think, um, Mr. Hadley, you had mentioned uh, that, uh, that it seemed to focus on near-term threats, uh, where the, certainly the intention of the statute uh, is, to, is to project out irrespective of resources. Uh, and whether or not we can, the, the, and to send a message to the Congress, certainly, of, of what needs to be done. And so it seems like that, that this uh, quadrennial defense review was clearly compromised uh, by the immediate constraints uh, fiscally. And, and, I, and I'm concerned uh, with that, and I think that, uh, Mr. Perry, I think uh, uh, you reflected some of those same concerns, too, in terms of the 20-year window. Um, I know it's difficult to project out. Um, but how would you see, how do you see, um, the United States has no peer competitors today, but, but China is a rising power, uh, it would, certainly uh, increasing its in, industrial base uh, at, at fairly rapidly, which is enabling us to, it to keep, increase its military. And so uh, how, do, how do you project out to see whether or not this QDR counters or is able to counter uh, the rising power of China. Uh, Mr. Perry, why don't we start with you? Let me say, first of all, relative to the QDR, that had I been the Secretary of Defense, I would have probably made the same decisions that Secretary Gates made about what to do in the QDR, namely focusing on the five-year issue, but I would also like to follow it on with a lo longer-term study, which could include some of the issues which you were raising the question about. Uh, my own view is that the force structure we have today and the force structure we know we're building, have committed to build for the future already, is quite capable of dealing with any future military threats which I can envision right now. And I would project that out of my own thinking maybe 10 years or so. I just don't think my, my thinking isn't, isn't good enough to forecast what it's going to be like 20 years from now. But I look ahead for the next 10 years or so, I think we're, the U.S. forces will be quite capable of dealing with any challenge which I can envision in the next 10 years. Mr. Hadley. I would say two things. One, I think think of it maybe a little bit this, this way. The questions that you've all set out here today and that are in the statute need to be addressed. The question is, is the, v, is the QDR the vehicle for addressing all of them? Or does the QDR have to be part of a broader system and effort whereby these things get addressed? And that's what we're trying to look at. Secretary Perry talked about maybe before the next QDR, you need a sort of 20-year look year lookout exercise that then informs the next QDR. I think we need to look at it almost system-wide. Secondly, you know, I think the China issue is this broader anti-axis area denial kind of issue. Um, and it's not just concerns people have about China and the, and the South China Sea. It's a question about Iran in terms of Gulf, and there are other places as well. My sense is that the QDR made a down payment on additional capabilities that our military forces need to deal with these threat. I think they did really not ask themselves what is the capacity, what is sort of the volume of these capabilities you would need in 2028 if you had a serious threat, recognizing that threat will mature between mm -hmm. now and then. Uh, I think that is one of the unfinished items as part of the QDR, and I would hope it is on Secretary Gates's list of things to be looking at as you look out 10, 15 years. And that's one of the things we will, we will be talking to him about. Thank you both. I uh, just uh, do commend you to uh, look at uh, our personnel structure, and this is archaic system that was developed 
I think, in World War II that, that doesn't reflect, uh, I think, the needs of today and this notion of a 20-year window and this up-and-out program. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that you're taking a, willing to take a look at that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank the gentleman. Dr. Snyder, please.